can see uh, Emmanuel Class A. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is what, what was he thinking? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, less. I think, you know, when they went to camp this year, you're thinking you've got James Karinchak, you've got Class A, two young guys, you know, future, you know, future closers probably. And uh, they could, you know, they both throw close to 100 miles an hour and you, they could set up uh, Brad Hand, the closer, and you're going to have one of the best back ends uh, in the back into the bullpens in, in baseball. And then uh, Class A, not only does he just, he gets hurt, like early in camp, throwing a bullpen, probably, you know, trying to impress people and trying to throw too hard, you know, that's understandable. And then he gets banged with, uh, you know, the 80 game suspension for PEDs. And, uh, you know, that was unfortunate. That, you know, is not understandable, I guess. And my, my question is, uh, you know, when, when did he test positive? I think, you know, it sounds like he tested positive after the trade and perhaps he did that going into spring training, you know, or perhaps he did that after he got hurt to uh, help the uh, healing process. Well, if the uh, deal between the owners and players calls for 82 games and he's suspended for 80 of them, I think he has to pitch all 18 innings of those two games to, to make up his <laughs> that, that investment. Yeah, yeah, he's... He, you know, he's done for this year, and you can't. Even if they make the postseason, you can't. You know, you yeah. can't pitch a player that tested positive in the postseason. Right. Two one six and five seven bad. five seven five zero oh, four zero oh, three. So let's reevaluate the Corey Kluber deal with Texas and see what that looks like now. Now that you lose Class A, who was probably he was the centerpiece of that trade, wasn't he? As far as the Indians are concerned. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he was a young guy that you know really, you know, didn't like pitched. Uh, you know, didn't pitch a whole lot last year, but he, you know, he made the jump from A ball to the big leagues. Not many people do that. Uh, was very impressive there. He was, you know, throwing over a hundred miles an hour, um, and uh, you know, uh, you know, and Delino De Shields, the outfielder they got, said people are going to love this guy. Uh, he's probably, I think, he's going to be one of the best, you know, uh, relievers in baseball. And and now you lose him for a year in uh, kind of a, a shortened season uh, definitely a, you know a shortened season where you know you're going to have to you're going to have every game you count every game you can win is going to count you're going to have to do it you know right out of the gate you can't you can't like roll into this season is, so and he would have helped that process is Terry Francona going to hold the grudge against major league baseball all season because of the three batter rule or do you think he'll, he'll be okay with that I think he'll be okay with that. I think he'll deal with it. I think, I think he's already dealt with it. He's already, he not, I don't think he'll ever accept it, but hey, better adjust. Yeah. 